everyone and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I have yet another Halloween witchy decor haul for you all. As you probably noticed, I don't have any store footage. Now those types of hauls take hours and I mean hours if not days to edit and put together and things like that and I wanted to really use my time to focus on the Halloween DIYs for you guys so I didn't do any store footage I hope that's okay but I'm still going to show you everything that I got so let's dive right in so first let's dive into what I got at Burlington and while I was there, I picked up this cute little mug. It says, Head Witch in Charge. I think it's so cute, and I'm so excited to add it to my ever-growing mug collection. Then, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I was ecstatic when I found these little Harry Potter slippers in the Halloween section. And on the bottom, it says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. These are just so adorable and I was so excited to find those. Then I also found these gorgeous bowl and platter sets. It has skulls on, this is the bowl, skulls and roses, and then here's the platter. And these were pretty decent priced. The platter was $5.99 and the bowl was $6.99. And I thought these would be perfect in my spooky kitchen. And, and if we're, you know, do any type of entertaining, which I seriously doubt it with COVID, but in the future, when we do any type of entertaining, these will be fun to get out and use. So I was excited to find those. So that's everything that I got at Burlington. So let's dive into TJ Maxx. So at TJ Maxx, I found these cute little haunted house salt and pepper shakers. I just think they are adorable and I was so excited to find those. They will be perfect for my dining room table display. Then I also found this black pumpkin. It says, you say witch like it's a bad thing. Thought this was so pretty with the black. This is actually the first black ceramic pumpkin that I found so I was really excited for that and you know it doesn't have any orange it's actually accented with gold so it'll be perfect in my Edwardian witchy themed rooms so I got that and I was also excited to find the zombie popsicle uh, molds and I seen that Joann's had this, but I actually got this at TJ Maxx for $7.99. So I was excited for that. I think the kids are gonna love these. And I might do like frozen yogurt in these. I, th I thought that would be good. And then the last thing that I found at TJ Maxx is this beautiful broom decor. And I probably won't be able to get it in all in the screen, but it says the witches in on this rustic sign and it hangs from this broom and I absolutely love this. Now they had different designs of this same theme with the broom and then a sign hanging. Some of them said Salem Broom Company, others had other witchy sayings on them, but I thought this one was so pretty so I grabbed this and this one was $19.99. So not too bad of a price for what it is. And then the next place I went to is Marshall's. And wait till you see this. I about died. This is a Halloween mug with a puppy that looks just like my Sylvia. Have you ever in all your life. This is the dearest thing I've ever seen. And of course she's dressed up as a witch. And it's so ironic because for Sylvia's first Halloween, I had gotten her a purple witch costume. So this is, this is, this mug is so perfect. I cannot even like, oh my God, I love it so much. And they had a few different dog types. So if you have a puppy, definitely go to, to Marshall's and check that out because they might have your dog dressed up for Halloween and it is so cute. I also found 
this it's it's kind of basic but i like it it's it's a mug with a pink witch's hat and then on the inside it says witch i don't know there's just something about it and the hats on either side i just like the simplicity of it and you know this could be year-round mug but yeah i like it and then the last thing from marshall's is this makeup brush holder and it says some days i'm extra witchy i don't know if you can see that with the lighting but it's purple and silver and then on the back it has some stars and says i'm extra <laughs> i thought that was so cute and i think instead of makeup brushes i'm actually going to use this as a pencil holder on my desk but I thought that was so cute. Okay, so next up, let's see, what's this? Oh, Michaels. So I didn't get as much this time at Michaels. I know I've been getting a lot there. I only found one new thing that I really like and it's this gorgeous herbs display. And on the end it says Witch's Brew. Absolutely love this. One of them even has a mushroom inside. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, this one has a mushroom as well. But I absolutely love this. And of course, this would be an easy DIY project as well. If, cause this was, how much was this? This was $24.99. So if you go to Michael's dollar section along the front where their uh, registers are, they usually have these bottles for pretty cheap. And then I actually had bought one of these stands on Amazon a while back. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very expensive. And if you DIY it yourself, it's definitely not going to, you know, be as much as $24.99. So definitely think about DIY and something like this because that'd be really easy to do. But that's everything that I got at Michael's. So then let's hop into, oh, I finally went to Spirit Halloween. I'm so excited. Mine just opened up, when was that? Last weekend. So I finally got a chance to go and I got some stuff. I found these witchy temporary tattoos. I thought these were awesome. And if you haven't heard me say before, I actually use these in junk journaling. So I don't use them as, you know, ta tattoos on my skin, but yeah, I definitely use them for junk journaling. So think about that when you're, when you're doing any type of crafts, you could use those as rub-ons. Then I got some cute little Halloween jewelry. So this has a black cat on a pumpkin with a broom and the number 31. Thought that was such a pretty necklace. So I picked that up. I also found this decal that says wifey with the bride of Frankenstein. So I thought that was so cute. So I picked that up. Found this gorgeous infinity scarf. And it's got black cats, skulls and top hats, crystal balls a witch's hat and it says creature of the night, a potions bottle. It's got all kinds of stuff on it. And it's just so pretty. Absolutely love this. So I got that. I also got a pair of earrings and they're these cute little bows with jack-o'-lanterns on them. I thought they were so cute. Love those. Oh, then I got this uh, Trick or Treat magnet from the movie Trick or Treat. I absolutely love that movie. I love Sam. He's so cute. <laughs> Even when he's scary looking. And then I found this car magnet that says Support Witches. Thought that was cute. And then I picked up two different lanyards. So this one is more Ouija related not sure if you can see that but it's like a vintage couple playing with the Ouija board 
thought that was cute. And then the lanyard has that same couple on with a sun and a moon. And then on the back, it says Ouija and Mystifying Oracle knows the answers. So I thought that was cool. And then I also found a Hocus Pocus one that has a little potions bottle. And this one's really cool. It's got potions and bugs and skulls. And then on the back it says, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. So that's everything that I got from Spirit. Next, I'll show you everything that I got from Target. So even though this is a little cartoony, I love it. And it was only 10 bucks, but it's this little witch's cottage and it says potions. It's made out of wood and I just, I love it so much. So I had to, I had to pick that up. Absolutely love it. And then I found this throw pillow that says witches wanted. And this was in the dollar section, so it was only $5. And the back says trick or treat. Thought that was cute. And then I also found some LED candles. And I found them in black and cream. And it looks like, like the wax is dripping. Thought that was so cool looking. And I got two different sizes of the black. So there's a smaller one. This cream one is the only one that I found, or I would have got a smaller one of that as well. And these were in the dollar section as well. And both sizes were $3. Then I found these cute little pumpkin spice hot chocolate bombs. I thought those would be perfect for the kids trick or treat bags that I give them. So I got three of those. And then the next item isn't really witchy, but I have an idea uh, for a DIY with it. But it's this, you know, plain jar with a black lid. And this was in the dollar section as well. It was only $5. But with this, you could do all kinds of things with this. Put lights in it, put decals on it, you know, all kinds of things. Put herbs in it. So as a witch, you can never have enough jars. So I was glad to find that. And these aren't necessarily witchy either, but I thought I'd show them to you on here because they're just so cute. But they're chip clips in the shape of bow ties, black bow ties. And you get two for a dollar. Absolutely adorable. I love these. And these, you know what? I'll save that for, for my, I got an idea that like I totally squirreled there, but I got an idea for a Halloween DIY with these. So yeah, I'm not gonna tell you, I'll show you in the video. So stay tuned for that. All right, next, let's do Walmart. So Walmart's starting to get their stuff out. So I was really excited about that. I was lucky enough to find the, this year's Harry Potter Halloween ornament. And this was the, the last one left. So I was so excited about that. I believe every year they put out at least one of these ornaments. Last year I missed them, so I had to spend a lot to get them off of eBay from the scalpers, unfortunately. But yeah, that's this year's. And then I picked up, this is, this is childhood nostalgia right here. But I picked up the Witches movie and I absolutely love this movie. I used to watch this when I was a kid, absolutely love it. So I was glad that they came out with this. Actually, there's a section with all kinds of Halloween movies from the past. Like there's Twitches with Tia and Tamara. There's ones with the Olsen twins, uh, Halloween Town 1 and 2, I forget. Um, Casper, like all kinds of ones that we watched when we were little. I was really excited to see that, but I picked that one up. And then I also found this animated figurine and it's solar powered and it's a little witch with a moon. Thought that was so cute. So I got one of those. 
And then I found these window decals and these are really creepy. I am so excited for these. Look at this. Oh my gosh, isn't that creepy? I absolutely love this. Like holy cow, that is so spooky. And then this next one, oh my goodness, look at this. Have you ever? <laughs> That's so scary. The funny story, I was in the store and it was like right when I got there and these were the first two things that I put in my cart and I'm, you know, pushing my cart around and all of a sudden I hear, I hear, I hear this girl say, look what's in that lady's cart. <laughs> <laughs> she was talking about these scary things. It was so funny. But anyways, the next items I found are in the children's clothing aisle. And they're Halloween shirts. So it's this cute little jack-o'-lantern, just plain black t-shirt. Got that for the kids. And then this cool skeleton long sleeve shirt. So you got the you got the skeleton on the arms and the like grimy slime ooh and a spider web like this is so cool love that so i'm probably giving these to the kids on halloween with their gifts and let's see i think that's everything from walmart so let's hop into dollar general all right dollar general had this cute little instant nerd set and it says includes one novelty glasses one bow tie one pair of suspenders <laughs> i thought that was so cute and of course i'm a nerd so i just had to get this actually it's for my son he wanted um a bow tie so it's gonna be for him for christmas but i think i might steal it and wear it for some videos because that's too cute but anyways I found a tumbler that says Head Witch in Charge and it's lime green. Absolutely love that. And then I found these cute little pumpkin candles. Comes in a set of three. Thought they were so cute and they're only three bucks. So that's a great deal. And then let's see, what else did I get at Dollar General? Oh, this wooden piece. Let's see if I can light it. Yeah, it does. Okay, so it lights up. It's this shadow box. And I don't know if you can see the light there, but yeah, it's a witchy scene. Absolutely love that. This was only three bucks. Like, get out of here. Love that. What a great deal. And then, oh, I picked up some, some bugs for a DIY that I'm going to do. So I got this pack of three spiders. And then I found this beetle actually in the toy section and it was the only one left. Like I've been on the hunt for insects for like several weeks now. Nobody's had them and online, even Amazon, they are expensive. So I was so glad to finally find some of those. And then the last thing, things that I got at Dollar General are these cute little Halloween socks. These are gonna be for the kids as well. But I thought they were so cute. Look, look at this ghosty with the glasses. Absolutely adorable, love that. And then last but not least is everything that I got at Dollar Tree. And I found this cute little light up jack-o'-lantern. Oh my gosh, it's interchangeable. This is the first time I'm seeing the lights. That is so cool. But the pumpkin is styrofoam and it's, black with black glitter absolutely love that they also had orange ones of these and i think in addition to the pumpkins they also had skeletons as well so definitely check on those because those are cool and then they're also coming out with costume accessory and face mask sets so it comes with this headband so this one is a witch's hat headband with a face mask that's purple, black, and green. They also had different ones like, um, I remember there was like a nurse's one. And I can't remember the other ones, but they were really cute. It, it, they all come with a headband and a mask. So definitely check on those because those are so cute, especially if you want to do like a low key uh, dress up for work or something like that. That would be really cute to do, especially since it comes with a mask. That's a great idea. 
So I also found some other cute socks. I couldn't believe these. Look at this. Frankenstein? Like, get out of here. And then they also had Dracula. Absolutely love those. Great quality on those. And then I found this cute little witch. And she makes a noise. And she's, she's motion censored. So every time someone walks by, she'd go off. I think that is so cute. I love that. And then... Oh, I finally found the Halloween soap dispensers that everybody's been talking about. So they have the cute little ghosty and then the black skull. Absolutely love these. And I don't know if they have a scent. If it, oh, coconut lime scented. What? Let me smell this. Coconut lime, get out of here. Oh, oh my gosh. That smells amazing. Holy cow, what in Sam Hill? Which one's this? Pomegranate vanilla? Hold up. Stop. Oh my word. The, guys. Pick these up. Pick these up. They smell delicious. Holy cow. Get these. Holy cow. Yeah. I did not know. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe that they would have like a floral scent or something like that. But these smell amazing. Get those. Pick those up. And then I was so excited to find this. I found this in the book section. And it's called Hocus Focus. And it's a children's book. Have you ever, this is so dear, like holy cow. And it looks like it's in comic book form. This is, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I know I keep saying that with everything, but this, this is just get like, get out of here for a dollar. Love that. Absolutely love that. And then the last two things that I got are more, um, of, containers I guess you would call them it's this I got dog hair all over it already go figure but it's this candy uh, bin dish whatever you'd call it and it says welcome to our haunted home and then the last one it is so cute it says which way to the party has a cute little witch on it with a moon Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. This would be perfect to um, put Halloween cookies in and give it as a gift. I think that would be so cute. They also had an orange one with a different print, so definitely go check that out. But that is my entire Halloween haul. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a lot of fun because I sure did. But if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.